was everybody crypto muscle fake lasers I don't give a shit you know what it's all about it's all about the critically acclaimed crypto death watch oh yeah that's what it's all about alright this is what it is all about all eyes is on the platform the platform in this space Vortec United and what's going to happen here and that's why the Death Watch series is critically acclaimed because you know why it, it's it's you're, you're getting your daily dose of it right now of the Death Watch and it's all because of what's been happening about three weeks now in this space and man it <laughs> the the crypto world has been steamrolled all right these last three weeks i mean platforms after platforms i mean getting crushed right by the pressures of the financial authorities and um it's a matter of what it entailed into all that stuff so right now you're getting a daily dose of the death watch until there's a resolution in this matter for some of these respective platforms especially the top two I'm talking about which is Fortech United we'll touch on Cloudfy I'll throw in a little bit of Afrique Arbitrage a little bit of an update on that and maybe a tad of uh, funds alright so before we get to the biggest one of all, right, the the one that is above all in this space right now, and like I said, all eyes are on it. We're going to talk about these other ones first, get these out of the way. And I just want to just quickly comment on this, right? So if the CFTC had a cease and desist on funds and then they went in and seized their money which they did a couple weeks ago then how are they going to get their money back all right this shit's not fake this shit's real so if CFTC gets involved it's not going to be too far down the road that either they're going to do something or other authorities are going to step in and do something. And it doesn't matter where you're at. It doesn't matter. I, I don't give a shit if you are in uh, the Cayman Islands. I don't give a shit if you're in some bunker in uh, the Russian Sea. I, I, it doesn't matter. I, the point of it is that if this is happening, then, hey, you know what? <laughs> Good luck, right? So, funds is dead. They could do their petition bullshit all they want and try to, you know, make their case and cause for or get their money back. It's not going to happen. And so, funds is dead, all right? Unfortunately. It's just too bad, you know? It's just one of those things. There's no way they can come back. Their group you know, got deleted, their Telegram group, it got deleted, and I'm assuming the Facebook group may be gone, let's see here, oh, is it up still, it looks like it might be up, but it's it's private now, it looks like, yeah, so it's in private, so at least they're doing something in that regard, but that still doesn't matter, the um, funds is dead because the money is gone, if the if the government seized it, ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time, you're not getting that back. All right. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to just to reiterate that. All right. So let's go to the next one here. Afrique arbitrage. So uh, it was announced what a couple weeks ago that the trading has commenced. All right. Again, once again. Uh, according to Jessup, their CEO slash owner of this thing, 
and that's that right <laughs> just the trading there was no talk about any sort of payouts withdrawals or none of that yet and the biggest thing that's come out these last couple days now is KYC um, and so that's what he's talking about doing is KYC and implementing it all right so we'll see what would that entail because you know about how we feel about KYC for a lot of us how we feel about it um, you know it all depends on what it entails because some KYC uh, is different than others in terms of what is asked or required so from that it's going to lose a lot of people though either way um, when it shakes out so once and if this KYC is well let's just say once it's implemented because he sounded like he's going to be committed to KYC and he said it has nothing to do with authorities and stuff it, it has some to, it, more to do with um, accurately having you know whatever it is with people on the platform no multiple accounts or anything like that just you know straight identify with one account per person that kind of thing it's, that's what he's claiming all right so I'm just going by what he's saying so that's that freak right I just want to throw that out there that they're talking KYC all right before anybody gets money or paid or whatever but I don't know all right it's been a quite a extended period of time of no payouts and typically when it's like that it doesn't pay out right I mean, shit, it was, I think it's been at least, what, six months, maybe? Hasn't paid out? Uh, um, but, yeah, we'll see what happens, though. I just wanted to just give you guys information. And so, now, let's take a look at CloudFi, right? And so, I was kind of perusing around CloudFi. And from last week to this week, I got 1260 in the balance problem is it has been paid out <laughs> all right of anything right now so let's take a look at the withdrawal log the so last time I got paid was the sixth all right and you could tell when it got paid because you will have you know this and you know transaction in the blockchain block chair here is an ex example of this what it looks like here right this one says processing this one says waiting so let's go back to a couple weeks prior right so right after the sixth um you know middle of the week comes typically i do a thursday video i would normally do a thursday video right so let's take a look at this so did the sixth right to air on the seventh i would come back and do a video here on the thursday as I did the week prior, the third. Um, but it was announced, I believe, on that Wednesday that, you know, there's going to be, you know, no more daily withdrawals or instant BTC payouts. It's once a week on Sunday, get paid out on Monday. All right, so that was what was the talk. And, you know, it. It's a good idea because of the fact that you have numbnuts out there. Marco's dirtbag and his, you know, bitch buddy, uh, dildo head Jan. You know, and I've told this story many times. You know, they're, they're on air. They wanted to test how fast the withdrawals are. But not once, not twice, not three times. I mean, they did five record-breaking withdrawals, right? And uh, multiple withdrawals because it's free on the house and they want to see how fast it was so in essence they were encouraging this practice right and because of this practice that they were encouraging a lot of people you know would see that and think it's okay all right because you're not paying for it right because we all know that blockchain fees for bitcoin whether you're selling or buying is steep so why would dumbass you know, shit for brains, Marcos, all right, and dildo head, bacon man, 
you know, would abuse the system like that and encourage it, right? So in their pea brains, they didn't realize that you're hurting the platform. That's why they went to this move. Um, but at the same time, it, it just coincidentally, you know, it was very coincidental that the cease and the refrain uh, announcement was put out there. It was quietly put out there because I didn't catch wind of it till the weekend. It came out on the 9th and I think the weekend that's when I caught it, a wind of it because I wasn't even aware of it. I got, I got it from Vortec first and not even Cloudfy until even a couple days later when it was shared by my downline. I was holy shit. I was like, damn. So it was just very coincidental. I mean, I mean <laughs> You know, I mean, what timing, right? That it, it happened on the 9th and it has been paid out since. I'm just saying, you know. Um, you know, just you put the piece, <laughs> the pieces together, the puzzle, and you look at it, you're like, man, I mean, what timing, coincidental. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, you know, right? Think about it for a second. So when we look at that now, right what's the point of me putting in another withdrawal because it's just going to sit there i mean i could i guess is it even open it's sunday let's see if it's even open all right so it's open right i mean i might as well stack it i mean it's not it's not going to come anyways but i'll stack it what the heck right there so might as well. All right, let's stack the withdrawals. So now we got three high. I was reading in in, in uh, the chat, and there's dudes with four stacking and stuff. All right, things like that. But the point of it is, it has not paid out since. And, you know, anybody can make up all the excuses in the world about why, 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 why is it not doing it? Why, why, why? And... We could go back to why it's not doing it, and that's the reason why. They've been very, very quiet <laughs> since they implemented the, uh, uh, you know, the whole thing with, oh, you know, you pull it out on Sunday, you get paid Monday, right? It's been very quiet ever since, very, very quiet, all right? And when we look at it, so um, this was paid out this week it wasn't paid this week it wasn't paid this week and what would I what what would make me think it's gonna pay this week right that's why it's three pending withdrawals all right you can see there 13th 20th 27th those three are gonna is pending just saying right it's just you know what what it is right so when we look at that now why are we here well, said it many times, and I'll say it again. Uh, you know, Bacon Man, Pea Brain, Dildo Head, all right, and his little bitch, Marcos, is the reason why we're here, all right? But no, 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 it's not just because them on the surface. You got to dig deeper than that, all right? If the CFTC documents named the platform and named Jan and each of them that tells you something all right it tells you something that maybe these guys should distance themselves right and so with Cloudfy though they uh, they did that right they severed their ties with the CEO long before this uh, cease and desist thing came out and you know, that, that's according to Cloudfy. They severed their ties. Jacob, the owner, asserted himself um, as the guy to communicate with from for, you know that day forward, right, when it was announced. But you still have uh, Bacon, Bacon Man uh, still talking about it periodically to the point where in this period of non-paying performance out of Cloudfy, he's still talking it up, 
talking about how, you know, this is what you do, this is how you do it. He talks to Jacob every day and all that stuff. And man, it's like, dude, you're going to continue to solidify and fuck up Cloudfy even more. You know, congratulations because you keep on showing your connection with Cloudfy. All right, and by doing that, one, you're rubbing it in everybody's faces. Two, you are doing that to the financial authorities as well. And three, well, you're going to get the platform shut down. All right, and so think about it for a second. But no, Bacon Man has a huge ass ego, just like Marcos does, and their egos are getting the better of their judgment. Simple as that. All right? The arrogance that they have, uh, the thinking that they know it all and all that stuff, and they still got a lot to learn. And so once this thing does die, because, come on, how's this going to come back? and pay alright if it's trading and doing all that stuff it's doing all that stuff it's supposed to be doing right supposedly so then why is it not paying us then is it because the CFTC has like cameras posted on every move that Jacob's doing and they have surveillance put into the house and they're they're watching his every move that he can't push that withdraw button (laughs) to send for everybody I mean what is it you know so this shit is uh, I hate to say it but there's no way it's gonna come back and as the days go on and on and on you know it it's inevitable all right it's inevitable inevitable that is dead all right Maybe you got to wait for some sort of official, you know, statement, whether it's from CFTC by, oh, we seized the funds or um, something. Jacob saying, hey, unfortunately, this is what's going to happen. Um, this, this, and this. And that's all, folks. Sorry about that. You know, are th- is that what you guys are waiting for? I mean, I guess that's fine if you want to do that. All right. So we'll see what happens, though. I just wanted to just uh, give you a <laughs> uh, an update to kind of just rehash the facts about how quiet Cloudfy has been. They've been very, very quiet. All right. Whereas Vortex United has been somewhat defiant, you know, supposedly, right? Because they are in a similar circumstance, right? They have not paid out since, uh, let me see here, withdraw. You know, they have not paid out in a couple weeks as well. And I'm about to sit, you know, put out another withdraw because, you know, you stack them high to the sky. No way hell am I canceling. So let's do this right now. Stack it high to the sky. All right. And so, Vortex United, this is where it stands with Vortex United, all right? And we'll get, we'll take a look at if they've posted any updates, but I got a, a eerie feeling here as I post my Monopoly money, dashboard money, however you want to call it, all right? As I'm getting ready to post this, I got an eerie feeling here that, you know, what may come is that it will not come, right? Be right back. And so, I'm back, by the way. There it is. All right, 11537. All right, so I'm stacking it high to the sky, just like I did with Cloudfy. So that's going to be three now, all right? So when we add that up, man, it's a nice chunk of change here. All right, let me add this up real quick here. I just want to just know for my brain what these dashboard dollars add up to. Let's see. 098. 
and uh, 11, 5, 3, 7. So 36,139. All right. I mean, it's a good chunk of change there. Um, but yeah, so going back to how the circumstances are so similar, all right, that they have not paid out around the same period with Cloudfy. They have a CFTC document, a cease and refrain on Vortec United on the same day, August 9th. And uh, it also implicated Jan the Bigger Man. So it has not paid out since because, I mean, it's just so coincidental, right? And I'm not trying to say they're connected. I don't think they're connected at all. There is no way they're connected. I mean, if they are, I'll be like, damn, <laughs> all right? But I don't see Cloudfy being connected with Vortec. I think just the timing of the cease and refrain is very coincidental, only because you have Dildo Head himself, the Bacon Man Jan, being involved in both of these. And then the way he talks it up about how he has like this deep built relationship with, with uh, both platforms. But it's odd because Cloudfy have said that they dumped, um, you know, Vor uh, Jan for being CEO, right? And according to Vortec, they never gave him an official title of CMO because of they didn't like how he was trying to be a CEO of everything because he was CEO of Maxbrit, he was CMO of this, he was CEO. You know, so he likes to be self-important, and that's part of his arrogance, all right? And so, you know, with all that, um, it, it, he, he talks about Vortec. He usually just piggybacks off of Marcos, and then when it comes to just talking about it on his own, he'll talk about it. And he definitely talked it up last week. <laughs> Even though it's not hasn't been paying, he still talked it up, at, you know, as if, you know, the season's already started and he's talked it up like, oh man, you know, everything's good and all that stuff. But he's not really processing it. All right. So where do we stand with Vortec? All right, let's take a look here. Uh, let's see if there's a status update here. So this was posted yesterday, uh, Dear Vortec Partners. They posted a weekly report, it got a 68%. And then a little quote there. So nothing of um, just an update on how progress is with the platform itself. But it's early, early Sunday morning here in California. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have said that. And on the West Coast, United States, I'm from Antarctica, by the way. But, um, you know, the point of it is, is that this happened for a reason, all right? And it's so coincidental that it names Jen. It's so coincidental that it stopped paying while Jensen was in Vegas. It's so coincidental that <laughs> just all of this is happening right the snowball effect so you know they initially said give us seven eight days because they said that they didn't fully implement the processor where it's fully automatic it was just partial that's why they had to deal with the you know system error malfunction blah 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 right whatever excuse there is so that's why it didn't pay out um, the week prior right so then going into this past week um, you know, they, they initially said give us seven, eight days. Seven, eight days came. It would have been uh, like around Tuesday last week, right? They said, oh, you know, we're, we're still trying to finalize some things and things are looking real good, right? Uh, we're looking at, you know, another day or two, you know, stay tuned for our announcement. Good things are happening or coming. Then it comes around. <laughs> oh, there's bugs in the system. I mean, it's so predictable. It was bugs in the system. We got to fix it. Sorry about that, guys. Give us through the weekend. We'll be back Monday, all right? So that's what they're saying now. And it's like, hmm, 
Oh, well, that's so crazy, you know? And it's so predictable, too, because I was calling that out days, days, days prior to that announcement. All right? And days prior to that announcement, I was saying, they're gonna, there's going to be a new excuse. All right? And so here we are. Now it's Sunday. This is early Sunday. They could be posting anything later on this afternoon or tonight. But this is early Sunday. You know why this is early Sunday? It's 7 in the morning there on the platform time. I wanted to get it in early because I didn't want some bullshit that I didn't make the timeline uh, cut off and all that stuff, which I've been doing since the very beginning. All right. And all of a sudden it became a problem. But okay, this time, ever since then, right? You know, you learn your lesson, right? You know, what's that line that your former president said, Bush? You know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice. Uh, shame on me or shame on me, whatever it is, right? That that's the, that line he said. Well, that's what happened, right? That's fine. You know, I'll play by the rules that all of a sudden you are <laughs> being firm with. And so I'm super early to put it in because I'm not going to sit there and, uh, you know, go against the grain again. I'm trying to be, you know, right in line as possible, all right? So... With all that, um, I got an eerily, eerie feeling. Right? I got an eerie feeling. I, I'm just not feeling it, all right, that it's going to come Monday or Tuesday as, as it was saying, right? I, I just feel like it's not coming. I mean, coincidentally, those are the payout days. Supposedly, they were doing test withdrawals, and some people have received some of their uh, Bitcoin withdrawals, right? And I'm sorry, not going to believe it until I see proof, all right? You're going to have, you know, Marco's numb nuts say, yeah, see, oh, that's so cool, congratulations, and stuff like that, all right? You fucking nerd, all right? Reminds me of uh, Tiwi here, you know, just congratulations, oh, ho, 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 right? You know, and yeah, and, you know, fucking nerd, and and uh, it's just, it's it's crazy, Right, that you're gonna take people's word for it, right? Just like how he took Jan's word for it. <laughs> oh man, it's so laughable, you know. Jan was C and B, right? Talking about, you know, according to him, according to Marcos, I saw everything. I seen it. I seen everything, and to the I to the to where the story changes at the very end when things are over, right? Oh. Sorry, guys. I, I saw it on Zoom. <laughs> oh, man. This is so funny. All right. And then, of course, Marco is trying to save face because he's stupid. You know, saying, I did not say anything like that in the very beginning. I didn't say that stuff. Right. Fucking nerd. You know you did. And you, you ate it all up. All right. And, you know, you kept on talking about it. How he, you know, was this, this, and this. And. It's like, shut up, dude. All right. We know you're a mark for Jan. You're his bitch. So, of course, uh, you know, if if something was to happen, you would backtrack and kind of, you know, manipulate and change some things. All right. Just because you don't want to look bad. All right. But we all seen it. We all heard it. And we all know that you're a piece of shit. And so... That's the bottom line on that. But yeah, going back to Vortec though, um, I got a feeling it's it's not going to happen again. And you know how they always say um, that line, right? Past performance is not indicative of future results, right? How about this, all right? How about it is? Because past platforms performances where this sort of thing happened and here's the indicative of future results right and here's the indication (laughs) each and every time when platforms like this happen with the withdraws what happens next (laughs) it doesn't come back (laughs) 
Typically, the platform's done. Typically. Can Vortex survive it? I, who knows? I mean, I really don't know. I, I would be, like I said, I would be very, very surprised if it actually does pay out or withdraws and we're back on track. I would be very pleasantly surprised. And again, here it is, right? I will put out, uh, you know, an apologetic video and I'll be like, hey, you know what? I am sorry, man. I stepped out of line. All that stuff. I'll be, you know, humble and apologetic as possible. All right. And I will apologize to whom I've attacked it on. All that stuff. All right. I will do it all. I'll do the work. But I got a feeling I'll be right again. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I I got a feeling I'll be right again. And the more we are getting closer and closer and closer to the Monday and the Tuesday, and um, the more it's sinking in and, and settling within me that, yeah, <laughs> some something's gonna happen again. There's gonna be something else. Uh, it, it it got hacked. <laughs> How about that? All right. So the the excuse of you know the bugs. You know they they gotta work out bugs. This happened. Okay. So you can't use that excuse again. You've been working on it all week, and then to say, "Oh, sorry, guys, we're still working on it." There's still bugs happening here. How about this? So oh, the 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 wallet got hacked is the next excuse or something, right? Something, something crazy. The CFTC seized the funds. I mean, that's a good out as well. So. You know, because when you implement these new plans in the midst of this situation, you got to be dumb to deposit in this during this situation. All right. That's what it is. You really have to really dig deep here. And um, I'm just, I just got a feeling this is what's going to happen here. And I hate to be like that. I really don't want to be like that. But it's just the gut feeling. And like I said, past performance is indicative of future results. Right? I mean, and that's what it is. When platforms acted like this, it was indi indicative that it's a complete failure or wrecked and it's not coming back but we're not at that stage yet but I'm just saying you know we're we're, we're taking a couple steps forward and uh, it, it's starting to head out that door right it's, it's going in that direction and so I'm thinking another excuse is going to be coming so what do you think what do you think the next excuse is going to be um it, it, it just can't be the processor issue again. It has to be something else this time. Like the wallet got hacked. Um, the site. Something happened with the site. Something. Something needs to come up. Some new excuse, right? Uh, they're not in the middle of the ocean, so they can't use the, the Huascar on the yacht with no internet excuse. They can't, you know, where... There's no internet, so he, you know, as much as he was trying to push the withdraw button, there's no internet. It can't, so it can't happen. So he's back docked on shore again. What kind of lame excuse was that? It was so funny. I remember that <laughs> that time with Cash Effects when they were having uh, withdrawal problems. They were supposed to get paid, and all of a sudden, Foscar talked about how uh, it wasn't working because they're in the middle of the ocean. And, uh, you know, it just, it, it can't happen, you know. It's frozen right now. Sorry, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll try to come back to it when we get back on shore, right? You know, no Wi-Fi, no Internet in the middle of the ocean. But yet, he can still put out a text or, you know, a message through DM that, hey, this is what's happening here. I mean, it's odd, but okay. Uh, you know, it, you get it, right? So... Yeah, 
I, I'm sorry, guys. I think that's what's going to happen. Tell me I'm wrong, right? Tell me that, oh, you know, you got some reassurance that it's going to pay, it's going to come through, everything's going to be great. Give me some reassurance. Let me know that's what's going to happen. But I just don't feel it's going to happen, though. And I don't want, I don't want to be that guy to say it's not going to happen, but I, I have to be that guy to say it's not going to happen. All right, and it just sucks because I mean I got thirty-five thousand plus sitting on the table there, and do I want to not take that? Of course, I mean of course I want to take that. I just wish I could, but it's not gonna happen. It just it's just not gonna happen. All right, so all we could do is I don't know if you want a Queen D prayer. <laughs> all right, I pray for Novatech. I mean uh, I pray for Vortech Unite. I pray. That everything's going to be okay. I pray for Jensen. I pray for the platform. And making sure. That you know. Everything is going to lead its way. To having a nice high performing. You know machine once again. Pumping out money. But I just don't think so. Sorry. All right. I, you know tell me. Please anybody tell me. All right that I'm wrong. That it, it's here. Tell me that it hit my wallet. Show me proof that some of you guys got paid. None of you guys are going to show proof. None of you. Alright. Everything that you're going to hear and see is bullshit. Alright. Here, here's a bullshit right here. Check this out. So you got Mr. Know-It-All here. Marco's dirt bag. Trying to explain. You know. About how platforms are. And stuff like that. Alright. And he's trying to say that, you know, Vortex withdrawal issues has no relation whatsoever to the, you know, he says SEC, but I think he's referring to the CFTC issues. It was their own internal issues with processing so many withdrawals manually, so they are switching to a fully automated system. According to Jensen, the uh, CFTC, he says SEC, but I think he's referring to CFTC has had no effect or impact on Vortex United. But it did! It has! Alright? It has. Or else none of this would have happened. It has affected Vortex United. Because these authorities don't play games. That's the, that's the, the sad part. So, what's going to happen next? I got a feeling, man. Another excuse is coming. So, you could blame, you know, it says, you know, another guy says, oh, it could be BTC dropped, and so that's why it, it is, but it's very minor at this stage. All right. So, you got Mr. Know It All, thinks he knows everything, you know, he's a he's god of crypto, right? And he thinks he has a goddess in Dora, but Dora's a ugly bitch anyways I could pull Hungarian bitches you know number 10s way better than this bitch right and um, but I don't want to I I have other preferences that are way better but um, all I gotta say is I might be on the other side of that I told you so video once again <laughs> oh man it's Man, I, I don't, I, I don't want to be that guy, but I gotta be, all right. And that's just the bottom line. So we're gonna see what happens, though, all right. We will see what's gonna happen. But you know, being that Sunday, you still got. Uh, I'm just going to go with status quo, even though supposedly it's, you know, supposedly it's supposed to pay out automatic. I'm still gonna put in that, or I did put in that withdrawal request. On Sunday at a very, very early time. There's no way they can say, oh, you're past the deadline. No. That can't be an excuse either. All right. Tell me something different this time. So if I did this on time and they so-called did not fix their little issue, uh, all I got to say is, you know, well, no, I'm not going to say <laughs> I was going to say something. Ooh, I, was, I, had a, I had to censor myself on that one. No, but um, all I got to say is I'm, I think I'm going to see you on the other side of this. And I'm going to say I told you so again. And 
and that's the bottom line here. So that's your update here. Stack them high to the sky, all right? Get those withdrawals in. Stack them high to the sky. Don't listen to numb nuts about canceling your withdrawals and all that stuff or compounding it in, all right? Because in the event that this is going to pay, well, it's all right here. And it's going to get paid out, right? In the event it does pay. But if you get it off the table because you decided to, quote unquote, reinvest or redeposit back in, well, then that's on you because I know you're going to kick yourself in the ass and be like, oh, shit. You know, I, I should have just held on and waited so I could pull the money out, but I reinvested everything back in because Marco said it's, it's a cool thing to do, right? Yeah. He could shove it, all right? So that's what's happening here. Get it in. Get it in. Stack an eye to the sky, and we're going to see what happens. All right, so thanks for everything. Thanks for listening, and uh, give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Am I wrong to have this sort of feeling, or am I, or you think I'm on the right path here, and you're on that path as well? Let me know. Uh, other than that, I'll see you next one.